Hi everybody, these are Samsung's QLED TVs. It's flagship televisions for 2017. The Q stands for Quantum Dot, which has been improved from previous years according to Samsung. The new Quantum Dot displays are brighter. They have 1500 to 2000 nits, which is extremely bright. They also have improved color reproduction, so all told Samsung says these are the best picture quality TVs they've ever produced. Unlike last year, the flagship Q9 series is flat and not curved. Of course, on the flip side, it doesn't have the full array local dimming that we've liked on previous models. Instead, it's an edgelet local dimming design. We'll wait to see how that affects picture quality. There's also a curved series shown here. It's the Q8. This is a 78-inch size. That set is, again, edgelet local dimming, but instead of the flat screen, it's curved like a lot of Samsung TVs in the past. Beyond the picture quality, these sets have a few new features. One is a larger One Connect box. It's an external box into which you connect all your HDMI devices. New for this year, that box has an IR blaster so it can control your cable box. You can close up the cabinet so everything can be operated without line of sight from the remote. That's pretty cool. Another feature is the umbilical between the One Connect box and the TV itself. It's made of fiber optics, extremely thin, designed to kind of hide out on the wall without having to go through the wall itself. The TV comes with a 5 meter cable length, and you can also get a 15 meter one as an option. Samsung's also done a couple new things with installation. It's compatible with a new, very flush wall mount bracket that clings to the wall a lot more closely than previous models. You can also buy some new stands with this TV to add to the aesthetics of the model. One of those stands has an easel design, and another is a squat little base that can rotate very nicely. All told, the Samsung Q LED TVs focus on picture quality and will being among the more expensive LED TVs on the market compete directly against LG's OLEDs. We'll see how they do in that competition in 2017. I'm David Katzmeyer for CNET.